What's up guys, back here again this week to do the Halo Reach title update. Now I know this isn't a game itself, but it is 343's biggest contribution to the Halo franchise so far until Halo Anniversary comes out, so I figured I'd do a review on it. Pretty much what I'm going to do is tell you guys the negatives and the positives of what the Halo Reach title update did to Halo Reach's gameplay. Right now what you're seeing is a pretty much a little mini tutorial on how you can get the game type for yourself, because right now it's not in matchmaking, that's going to be on October 4th. But yeah, if you want to try it out yourself, just go to the file browser and follow these steps on how to find it, download the game type, have fun with it. So to start, I'm going to tell you guys what was changed in the title update. Active camouflage, armor lock, DMR, pistol, and the needle rifle. The active camouflage you won't see in this gameplay, but like I said before, go ahead, load up the game yourself, and you can test it out with that. But pretty much what they did was they lowered the time on the active camouflage, so it runs out faster so you can't camp. It's a very small little addition to it, but you know, just makes things better a little bit. Armor lock, they did some huge changes to, and again, you won't see any gameplay, but it, you can try it out. Pretty much what they did was they now make armor lock take damage. When you're in armor lock and somebody throws a grenade under you or somebody shoots you, you lose the energy for the armor lock a lot faster. So they made it a lot more fair. They also did it where if you get stuck and you go in armor lock, you're still going to die. It's still going to blow up. Because as of before this came out, you would bounce it right off of you. And sometimes they'd even come back and stick the guy through it. Close enough. So they did fix all of that. The pistol was changed a lot. It now is four shots to the head and it obviously has no balloon, so it's pretty much a power weapon. If you were playing MLG, you would want the pistol over the sniper rifle now, because it still shoots just as fast, but it's like two times powerful, it's crazy. So I definitely don't like this, honestly. I think that they need to fix that and make it slower with more power. I do like the idea of making it powerful again like Halo 1, but they need to slow down. And from what I've heard, they are going to do that. This is just the beta version. So when Halo Anniversary comes out, what we are supposed to get is a much slower fire rate for the pistol, but it's going to be three shots to the head anywhere around the map. So there is one thing I did forget to mention. They fixed the um, system for melees and health. Now it's like the Halo 3 system. The shields are down and just a little bit, and you can melee them in and still feel the nice and just soft. So, that's also a pretty cool thing, and for me, that is definitely a positive, and there really is nothing negative about that at all. Now, the DMR and the new rifle are really simple, and they're identical. The bloom is gone. Simple as that. Still takes the same amount of shots. DMR, five shots. Needle rifle, uh, six. The DMR shoots slower still than the needle rifle, so same thing with that, but no bloom. So it just makes it more fun, in my opinion. Um, pretty much... The negatives, in my opinion, for it is that now it makes spam a lot easier, and that's one of the things that they were trying to get rid of with the balloon. The balloon was supposed to make it harder to shoot, but a lot of people can do it anyway, because post lags and all that kind of things like that. But it pretty much ruined the point of having balloon. And with them taking it out now, they've completely just kind of given up on it. So that's one of my problems with it. Obviously, I've already told you about the fact that I don't like the pistol the way it is now, but thank God they're actually going to fix it because I really don't like the fact that you can shoot so fast and has four shots and it's just, it's way too overpowered. But they will fix it because it is just a beta hop right now, but you guys need to tell them that, so please tell them that they need to fix it. Um, as for the armor lock, I don't think there's any negatives out of that, I just think a lot of kids are going to start, you know, whining and complaining about that, so that could be a negative just for the franchise in general, because a bunch of little kids will stop playing. That could be a negative in the sense of how many people play daily, but for us, that's a good thing. <laughs> Um, for active camouflage, no complaints. DMR, needle rifle, besides the fact that people are going to be spamming them now, no complaints. For the positives, I'd say that, you know, number one, it brings you back to the old days. We've all played Halo 3, I guarantee it, and most of us have played Halo 1 and 2, and we all love those games. I mean, I personally love No Bloom. I just feel that, you know, the fact that you can spam and reach is just kind of bad. So if they were to slow down the fire rate, it'd be perfect. So for me, it is a positive and a negative with No Bloom. I really do love the No Bloom, and I love the fact that 343 is, you know, actually thinking about Reach and not just focusing on Halo 4. You know, they're actually giving some care and not forgetting about the fact that all we have left is Reach, which is, you know, not very fun recently. Um, the other positives, in my opinion, would be Armor Lock, definitely, now that it's gone in the sense of how bad it was before, and now that, you know, it's all fixed and shit, I really, really enjoy that. 
so for me that's a huge positive. Um, the active camouflage never really used it, so don't really care. Otherwise, really good. Definitely recommend you guys down, uh, download some game types from some people, or download it from me, Dominator1007. Go to my file share and download it and have some fun. Now, real quick, the Gears of War 3 walkthrough is taking some considerable time because we had some issues. The editor got sick, has a stomach bug, so I might have to cancel it. Let's keep our fingers crossed that I don't. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to get updates on our newest videos. And expect to see something interesting by next weekend, hopefully.